Hi, I'm Ann Bible. This week for Architecture Connections, we turn to a beloved landscape painting in the collection to explore the ideal of the American dream. Take a look at this marvelous pastel world. Kids sometimes tell us it's Candyland. The swirls of pink, lavender, and orange glow like sweets, and the hilly terrain presents a vision of plenty. Waves are everywhere from the scalloped clouds to the beaded tree line to the undulating field. The scene exudes warmth and harmony. Near the center of this idol, stocky figures in gray and white bend to the work of plowing. A dead tree stands in the foreground. Hardship and hard work figure in this vision of paradise. Yet the integration of the plowed field within this bountiful landscape suggests the toil will pay off. It's an optimistic American story based on grit, aspiration, and abundance, a version of the American dream. Originally described as the dream that life should be made richer and fuller for everyone and opportunity remain open to all, the American dream is often reduced to material prosperity, a house, a car, the latest iPhone. Frank Lloyd Wright's dream was to build affordable homes in harmony with nature. He used inexpensive imaginative materials such as do-it-yourself concrete blocks in the hope of broadening American democracy and human dignity. The dreamy painted landscape before us is vibrant. What potential does the American dream hold today? In related time capsule and chalk drawing posts, we invite you to consider your dreams, values, and challenges expressed through a vision of home and life. Thanks for joining me.